So Glasgow on the ball are the football team that raises money for the Africa on the ball charity. The charity started in 2011, the team came along in 2014, 2015 or thereabouts. I didn't get involved until a couple of years later. I, but it's a, a great squad and a great bunch of players who raise a lot of money for the Africa on the ball charity. I had played in a charity game with uh, Andrew Jenkin, who's the founder, uh, that he'd organised through Supporters Direct, which he's also involved in, which was the Scottish supporters against the uh, Scottish parliamentarians that we contrived to lose 2-1. And I've not quite forgiven Jenko for playing me at left back. So I, he had tweeted, I, I think about six months after that, desperate for a coach or somebody to take on and try and organise the team. And I uh, volunteered. I think on the pitch, we, when I came in, the, we were struggling for 12 players. We were bottom of the league. They were terrible. Uh, this year, through continued growth of the squad and coaching and working with the guys, we finished fourth in the league. Should have been third. Uh, and today's cup final day, and we're playing Glasgow Respect in the VSN Sport GCCL Cup final. Off the pitch, the money that we've raised has managed to start four or five different programmes in Zambia, including the K-Town Queens, which is the first women's team. And we have purchased a container, a shipping container that we are filling with kit and books and all sorts of bicycles, all sorts of stuff that's going to get shipped out to Zambia, hopefully in September. The future plans for the club, we are talking just now about a second team, whether that'll be a Sterling on the ball or whether it'll be an Africa on the ball development team. Uh, we attract a lot of good players. We attract a lot of young players. Uh, and a couple of the guys will retire this season because they're getting too old. So uh, I'm trying to give coaching opportunities. The, the, the team has grown, the, the Glasgow on the ball team's grown by giving people the opportunities. It's not me, I'm head organiser more than anything else. Uh, we have a couple of players who are doing their coaching certificates just now, so they've taken the opportunity to coach uh, sessions. Uh, we have had uh, PTs in the team, so the guys can do their own training. We have our own physio, uh, and it is very much a meritocracy. I think it suits us because it's a league in which you can play football. It's a league that's very competitive and it's a league where there's lots of like-minded teams. I, we've, I, we, we play against Harmony Row, we play against Glasgow Wednesday who do the organise for the City Invisibles charity, we play against United Glasgow. So it's a good standard but it's also the right morals and ethics for us as a, as a league.